Sit down. You never know. You never know. Hallelujah. I pray for my daughters a lot. Sisters, intercede for the brother. Ask the Lord to open his eyes to see. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't we love the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. I want to continue because I've been still under the inspiration of God. The Bible said, there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of Adonai giveth him understanding. And so I've been under the inspiration of God. The people who had their ears open last night, are you still here? Please stand, please stand. How you doing? How was you? Great. There was too many people, another lady and a man. Two people, the lady and the man, okay. All right, just following up, okay? Amen. Uh, if you're a pastor here, or a bishop, the media team will want to interview some of you just to hear from you uh, about your experience of these three days uh, being here uh, with me. So please uh, be, be nice when they call you. <laughs> Amen. Be generous with your time. Hallelujah. Amen. And January, we'll be having uh, our prayer session, uh, the outpouring for 2022 in Worcester. In Worcester. Worcester. And uh, please block these dates. Please block these dates. The 13th, the 14th, the 15th. The 16th of January will be in Houston. So please keep those days. Block it. Amen. Amen. Uh, somebody say glory. glory. I'm not feeling you at all. Say glory. 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 All right. Okay. Amen. And I realize that there are so many people that are chosen for greatness but are bound. A lot of people are chosen to do mighty deeds for God, but are tied up. And I believe that one of the reasons why I came, I'm here, and God raised me, is to allow the Holy Spirit, through divine capabilities, to lose, to lose those chosen for greatness, but yet tied up. I remember some years ago, I was in upstate California preaching for Apostle Paul, a good old friend of mine. And when I was coming into the service, the Holy Ghost said, I'm going to shrink somebody. And I said, shrink? And I remember the first time I saw God shrinking somebody was an old friend of mine Michael McCann, short little prophet. And it was in London, in Kensington Town Hall, at a meeting with Jerry Savelle and uh, uh, Victory Church, uh, Dr. Michael Bassett, and some friends. And this guy just came and said, the Lord is going to shrink somebody today. And I said, shrink? Where is it in the Bible? <clears throat> I got to check it. So I was sitting on the back there, <clears throat> and I said, Lord, I'm going to check this guy out because there's nowhere in the Bible where anybody was shrinked. And then he said, there is a young preacher here from Africa. You are questioning what the Lord told me. I said, oh, Lord. He's a bad man. Anyway, I sat there, and I saw this lady shrink. Awesome. So when the Lord said he's going to shrink, I said, whoa. So I began ministering, <clears throat> and then the Spirit led me to a lady in the choir. 
she was almost 420 pounds huge tied up and the lord said command her to be untied and as i began to pray she started shrinking and after a couple of weeks she lost so much that people couldn't believe it and then apostle paul called me and he said the women church came to see me they want to fly you down first class put you in the best hotel and they'll give you a good love offering are you willing to come and i said paul i don't have a shrinking anointing <laughs> hallelujah i don't know why the women did that and the men didn't but um, so many people are chosen by god and are tied up chosen to do great and mighty things among us <clears throat> in our homes in our community in our city but they're tied up there are buildings lands for the glory of god but has been tied up lands buildings has been tied up and until someone takes a stand by divine authority to release it many will go to their grave with greatness with great death because nobody untied them tonight that is all i feel in my spirit that there are so many chosen for greatness but yet tied up that they need to be untied and i don't know what it is that has tied you up but the enemy is an expert of using anything to tie people up but tonight I came to make a declaration that anyone that is bound and anyone tied up chosen for greatness this is your moment to be untied untied somebody say untied untied in Jesus name please be seated Joseph Joseph one of the sons of Israel Jacob was a great young man chosen for greatness to bring transformation to the entire then world and yet joseph was cast into a pit a lot of contradictions and he had so many complications with his life set up betrayed cast into the dungeon into prison yet Joseph was chosen for greatness come with me to Psalm 105 the 20th to the 24th verse Psalm 105 20th to the 24th verse mm -hmm. the king sent and loosed him the, this word loose 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 has been in my spirit for weeks now loose loose I've been trying to walk away as a matter of fact, tonight, I wanted to deal with spirit-driven or spirit-led. And I still can't walk away from loose. And the spirit keep emphasizing that there are so many that have chosen great ones and nations and community, even lands like the building in Accra, Ghana, where we are today. I came there 30 years ago. It was out of the city. When we moved to that place, we lost over a thousand people and the board, a lot of the members of my board resigned because I was on my way from London back to Accra in those days and the Holy Spirit said, when you go back, move the church from the trade fair and from your father's house to the Spintex Road. And I said, to where? Spintex Road, there is nothing there. It's a forest. It's a desert. And the Spirit said, move the church there. So when I came back, I called the board and I said, we are moving. And they said, to where? And I said, to the Spring Text Road, our new land. And they said, Archbishop, I wasn't a bishop by the day, they used to call me Brother Nick. And they said, Brother Nick, you can't do that. There's nothing there. You, nobody's going to follow you there. This is crazy. This is madness. And it was madness. And I said, well, would you do it? And I did. And a lot of them resigned. And I lost over a thousand people when we went there. 
And the Lord said to me, he said, if you move the church to that part of the city, I will bring the city to you. And those of you who are Ghanaians and you've been to Ghana, the spring text road today, when I went there, there was not one church, not one building on that road. Today, we had over 380 churches on that road because I went there. There was nothing at East Legon, no church at East Legon. Today, there's 200 churches at East Legon. Everybody wants a portion of where I am. Wherever I go, everybody goes. There was nothing there. These are the days to hear the voice of him that speaketh. Because if we miss hearing the Holy Spirit, we're in trouble. We need to hear what the Spirit is saying. The Bible says, let him that have ears to hear, hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. Say, I hear you. I hear you. Lose him. Go ahead. The king sent to him, mm -hmm. even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. Somebody is about to go free. Somebody is about to go free. Yeah. And, and there are some people here, financially you've been tied up and you are in all kinds of debt. You are about to be let loose. You are about to go free. And I declare debt cancellation. On the account of the blood of Jesus, say yes. 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 Somebody say, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Coming out. Sit down for two minutes, go ahead. I'm coming out. He made him Lord of his house. Uh -huh. You are about to be made Lord. Somebody is about to be made Lord. Amen. You know, one of the things you must understand, when you go to court, okay, can I talk to you? Yes. You go to court and you're addressing the judge. There is a word they use, my Lord. My Lord. You hear that word, my Lord. I have a lot of justices in my church. We call them justice or my Lord, my Lord. And some of them say, Papa, you can't call me my Lord. You're my Papa. You can't do that. But the only other time you hear that word, my Lord, is when you own a property. And they call you landlord. Somebody here is about to become a landlord. Come on, say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I receive it in the name of Jesus. You have been living in somebody's house for too long. And pastors who don't have your own property, and you've been meeting schools, hotels, wherever, you are bound to own your own property. Amen. There is an anointing to possess your own property. Amen. It's an anointing. Say yes. Yeah. That anointing is coming upon you. Look at people and tell them you are about to become a Lord. You are about to become a Lord. Lord of our properties. Lord of our lands. Lord of our possessions. It's coming. Yeah, it's an anointing. Receive it in Jesus' name. Sit down for two minutes. You've stayed in that house for too long. Live in that apartment for too long. You are coming into your own. Yeah. God is going to make it possible for you to own your own property. Go ahead. He made him Lord of his house uh -huh. and ruler Lord over his house. Lord over his house. It will be your house. Amen. You will become Lord over your own house, Amen. over your own land, over your own cars. Amen. Lord over your own houses. Go ahead. And ruler of all his sons. Uh -huh. Not just houses. Not just land. But you will have dominion over money. <laughs> Say dominion over money. Dominion over money. Say I take command over money. I take command over money. Now let me tell you something as you sit down for two minutes. Hear me. You can't command your boss. You can't command your master. You can only command your servant. And people who hold on to money and don't know how to release money for the ministry, money becomes your Lord and your master. And you can't command it. If you want money to become your servant, learn to release it. 
because when you release it it does not have you but when you hold on to it it has you and if you can let it go you have command over it and anytime you command it to come jesus said jesus said the saturian said to jesus the other day he said he said i'm a man under authority and because i'm under authority i have authority and he said i said to one go and he goes to another come and he comes you are coming into a place where you become lord in the realms of the spirit and you will command money to come and it will come you will command money to go and it will go you are lord and you are master over it say yes yeah say money has have no power over me Say, I have power and command over money. In Jesus' name, say yes. Yeah. Okay, sit down for two minutes. Let me finish quickly. Uh huh. And to bind his princes. To bind his princes at his pleasure. At his pleasure. Hear me. You are going to move in them and in a dimension where you will do whatever you do with ease. With ease. Hear me. Say sweatless victories. Sweatless victory. Say sweatless blessings. Sweatless blessings. You see, you are coming into a moment into your life when it shall not be by might nor by power, but by his spirit, said the Lord. If you believe it, say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Yeah. Say yes. Yeah. It's a season. It's like the raining season. It's like winter. It's like summer. It's a season. And in that season, things just happen. Are you hearing me, somebody? In winter, it snows, it's cold, and there are all kinds of interesting things that happen. You are coming into a season in your walk with the Lord. And it's a sweatless season. Things will happen without sweat. Things that it used to take years, it will take you months. Things that it used to take you months, it's going to take you weeks. Things that it used to take you weeks, it's going to take you days and hours. It's about to happen. If you believe it, put your hands together and say yes. Yeah. Sit down for two minutes. Let me tell you something. I'm speaking prophetically. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to tell you I'm a prophet. I'm telling you. I don't I don't say that I don't tell anybody people ask me are you a prophet are you an apostle are you a teacher are you this I'm a coach you know and uh, they are using the word one one of my sons came to see me a prophet and uh, he was giving me the word of the Lord and I had issues with his interpretation of the prophetic word he brought so I told him I said son uh, you saw correctly but your interpretation of what you saw is wrong and he said Papa I'm telling you it's going to happen just as I said. I said, listen, you are a seer. I am an overseer. So listen to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, don't, don't scare me. I'm an overseer. So you can see, but I oversee the seer. Amen. Let's finish quickly. To bind his princes at his pleasure. At his pleasure with ease. Say, henceforth, henceforth. Henceforth. I'm going forward. I'm going forward. I'm working the works of God. I'm working the works of God. And I will reign in this life. And I will reign in this life. And do all that is required of me. Do all that is required of me. With ease. With ease. I will bind principalities with ease. Bind principalities. I will break through with ease. I will break through. With I will acquire properties with ease. I will acquire property with ease. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say yes. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. And teach his senators wisdom. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You will teach senators wisdom. You will teach the ancients wisdom. Men and women will come to you and they will marvel at your wisdom. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I told, I told a young lady, please see that, be seated, who really shows and helps the church. One time she a seed. And it was heavy and I said, are you sure you want to do this? He said, Papa, I want to pray for me. And I prayed for her. And God began to blow her mind. She began to come into some deals that she never 
expected to come into. And suddenly, she became director, her shares in companies. And there was a meeting of one of the companies. And when she walked in, everybody looked at her and said, what does she want here? What are you doing here? And uh, the chairman of the board said, she's one of our new shareholders. And everybody started looking at each other. One of our new shareholders? How did she get here? How did you buy the shares? And everyone was in awe. We were amazed. And she just sat there quietly and just listened and said, uh, if anyone uh, wants to share, sell their shares, please uh, inform my office. Hear me. One of these days, you are going to walk into a board meeting. <laughs> and everybody will be looking at anybody, everybody and say, what, what does he want here? What does she want here? And I said, God, I have seven minutes to pray you have to show up and God showed up and after that prayer every mega church pastor started calling me and they said we want you to come to our church don't preach don't teach we'll fly you in first class give you big offering just pray the same prayer you prayed at the potter's house over our church <laughs> are you hearing me somebody yes sir yeah 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 i remember when i was in america i was in ghana and the lord said go to america and i said i don't like going to america at this time i love it out here and the lord said go so i came as soon as i arrived the next day i had a call from the white house and uh, Secret Service, they wanted my social security number. I said, for what? They said that you've been asked to pray at the inauguration service for the President Donald Trump. I said, me? They said, yes. Are you Archbishop Duncan? I said, yes. They said somebody was supposed to do it and uh, he couldn't do it, so your name came up. So the Lord said, keep them. So I gave him my social security number and then they said, okay, you have to send us the prayers you pray. You have to send it to us. So I sent them the prayers. Then we had to rehearse, so we met and then they said, okay, pray the prayer you send us. So I prayed the same prayer. But on the day of the... Yeah. On the day. Somebody said, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. I started praying what was written, then suddenly I switch. Somebody said, switch. Sit down. When I finished praying, some of the senators and preachers walked up to me and said, What was that? And a preacher came to me and he said, I will give you $50,000 if you just let me fly you to my church and pray the same prayer you prayed. And I said, I don't know. It's the Holy Ghost that gives me the utterance. Are you hearing me? Anyway, he flew me there and I preached and prayed and teach and he was awesome. And he gave me more than that. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we through, Bishop? Verse 24. And teach his senators wisdom. Mm -hmm. Israel also came into Egypt mm -hmm. and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. Mm -hmm. And he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. After this, after tonight, you will be stronger than any enemy. I declare somebody here is about to become stronger than the strong man of your father's house, than the strong man of your mother's house, yeah. than the strong man of Connecticut, yeah. than the strong man at the job place, yeah. than the strong man that has contended with you over the years you are about to become stronger than the enemy shout yes yeah. sit down for two minutes he can't bully you anymore i'm telling you you watch and see 
come with me to Matthew 21 1 to 7 Matthew 21 1 to 7 Matthew 21 1 say chosen chosen somebody say chosen chosen for greatness talk to me say chosen chosen for great things for great things for greatness for greatness but tied up but tied up you are about to be untied you are about to be loose yeah in the name of Jesus yeah. you are bound to be untied mentally amen. financially amen emotionally amen bodily amen spiritually amen even concerning marriage whatever the enemy has used to tie you up I declare that you are about to be untied ah. he tie you up anymore he can't hold up your destiny anymore let your star be on time. Let your destiny be on time. Let your health be on time. Let your tomorrows be on time. In the name of Jesus, say on time. Sit down for two minutes. One of the things the Lord said was that He was going to heal people with problems with bones, bones, joints, knee problem, your marrow spine back ache to do with your bones you're about to be released <laughs> then tumors tumors growths fibro are bound to disappear <laughs> yeah it will i've seen them happen so many times they are about to disappear from your body I've seen them happen. After I finish praying, you can go to the bathroom if you have doctors examine yourself. You'll see that it's not there anymore to disappear. Amen. Okay, go ahead. Matthew 21, 1 to 7. Uh -huh. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem mm -hmm. and were come to Bethphage mm -hmm. unto the Mount of Olives, mm -hmm. then Jesus sent two disciples. I, lo I love Jerusalem. I love Israel. How many of you have been to Israel before? Okay, I'm going back next year, so I'll let you know. You should come with me. Yeah. They give me all kinds of privileges in, in Israel. When you go to the Jordan River, you'll see my name right there. I don't know if you saw my name. Yeah, it's right there. My name, picture, and everything is right there at the Jordan River, at the place of baptism. They give me like the Garden of Gethsemane. They shut the whole place down for me. And my team only. So... You, you, you get ready to come with me and you, amen, amen. We'll let you know the dates. Go ahead. Then sent Jesus two disciples, saying, Go into the village over against you, and straight away ye shall find donkey tied and coat with hair. And a coat with hair. Go ahead. Loose them and bring them unto me. Loose them and bring them to me. That is the command from tonight. You are going to lose so many. Amen. And bring them to the knowledge of the Son of God. Amen. Say yes. Yes. Say loose. Loose. To lose others. To lose others. Say set free. Set free. To set others. Set others free. That is the mandate. Sit down. Go ahead. Lose them and bring them unto me. And any man say aught unto you, ye shall say. The Lord has need of them. Do you know the Lord has need of you? And has need of the people we've written off. The Lord has need of our cities. Has need of our community. The Lord has need of this city and of this nation. But the enemy has tied things up. And God is counting on you to untie this city. To untie this community. To untie men and women out there. You know why there is evil people in this? It's because the church has failed. If we don't them, Satan will tie them up and deploy their services against us. So tonight, we are going to make decrees, divine legislations, and command in prayer. In the word of the Lord fought to all the nations and across this land that men and women chosen for greatness whom Satan has tied up whoever they are
they are, let them be on time. On time. And let the ministering angels go forth and let them go to work and enforce those commands. It shall be done. How many of you are ready to do that? And if you will do that, if you do that, God will surprise you. Go ahead. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord of them. Uh -huh. And straightway uh -huh. he will send them. Mm -hmm. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of it, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, that cometh unto thee, mm -hmm. meek and sitting upon a donkey, a colt, the fowl of a donkey. Mm -hmm. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, brought the donkey and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him their own so the donkey the mother and I were chosen for greatness Jesus had to ride on the back of the donkey and the child was with the mom when Jesus sat on the donkey and entered Jerusalem on Palm Sunday the triumphant entry God was upon them but before they were loose even though they were chosen for greatness they were tied up held down held that ransom and Jesus said they're chosen vessel and there's a prophecy to be fulfilled and I need you as my disciples to go into that and on time that donkey and the child there are so many people tied up mothers are tied up and it's not just mothers but their daughters also it is said that as uh, as the mother is, so is the daughter. Like mother, like daughter. I was dealing with a situation some years ago. A lady had a serious problem of depression. And everybody, nothing moved. And she came to see me. And I didn't want her. Because she said everybody had prayed for her. And I didn't want to be among the many who had been happy. So I decided I wasn't going to pray. But suddenly, the Lord said to me, ask her, who was the last person by her mother's bed when the mother died? And she said she was. And then I got the understanding that the spirit that oppressed the mother, the spirit that was on the mother when she was passing away, just attached itself to her. And so you have to be very careful when a loved one is passing away, especially if they are not in the things of God. You have to be very careful. If you are around them, you have to cover yourself in the blood. You have to take divine immunity and tell the enemy, you will not access me. You will not attach to my body. We were praying the other day and in the spirit, I was praying with the guys and I was sitting down and immediately I saw like a monkey attach itself to my shoulder and I was trying to touch it and it didn't have flesh so I knew it was so I said in the name of Jesus you unclean foul spirit assigned to attach yourself to my body or to any organ of my body in the name of your curse I arrest you and I terminate your power revoke your assignment in the name of Jesus I disengage and detain I un my organs and my body of you you have no hold no power go in the Jesus to the place of divine appointment you are released to the void of space so demons can attach themselves to our bodies they can attach themselves to our mind to our emotions to our will and to specific organs of our bodies so every now and then you have to learn how to command and tell the enemy you cannot tie up any of my organs you will not tie up my emotions you will not tie up my mind you will not tie up my will because there are people who know what to do and yet their will tied up and it's like they are overpowered overcome and they can't do anything they want to do their will has been tied up tonight let your will be on time on time let your emotions be on time. On time. Let your mind be on time. On time. Say on time. on time. Now this 
donkey was not just tied the man was tied and the child was also tied and realized that as soon as the man loose the child was also loose and this is very important for mothers and fathers you have to overcome whatever it is that you are struggling with in your flesh because if you don't overcome and deal with it and come it, chances are that that same spirit will go after your children so you must have victory over this thing i don't know what it is but you must gain victory and the upper hand over whatever is that is messing with your feelings and your mind and torturing your emotions and torturing your mind and torturing your body and afflicting you whatever the struggle is you have to seek god to be loose so that your children can also be loose yeah. are you hearing me somebody you be delivered for your children to be delivered and you see you cannot command the unreleased if you are tied up yourself you need to be free to free them up are you hearing me somebody that's greatness but tied up tied up where they were of no use they were just there creativity reduced to inactivity desensitized don't know why they were there they were just tied and they were just there if jesus hadn't sent to lose them they would have amounted to nothing and there are so many people hearing of my voice you are chosen for great things in life but you've been tied up you've been tied up by something from your bloodline your mother's house or your father's house i know you are born again and he goes field but hear me salvation is in three dimensions we were saved we are being saved we shall be saved what was saved your what is being saved your soul what shall be saved your body so the enemy the bible said in proverbs 20 27 that the spirit of man is the candle of the lord the spirit of man is the candle of the lord romans 1 9 paul said the other day god is my spirit whom he said god is my witness whom i serve with my spirit not with my soul not with my mind not with my emotions not with my will not with my body but whom i said with my spirit so the holy ghost dwells in your spirit not in your soul so what the enemy does he attacks your soul and he attacks your flesh because the soul is being saved how through the renewing of the mind be not conformed to this well but being transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can be born again and still think and act like when you were unsaved why because the mind is not renewed so you need your mind to be renewed to align your mind with the spirit are you hearing me somebody say i hear you i hear you so so salvation is in three dimensions and that's why we can be born again holy ghost feel talking tongues moving faith and still have things happening to us and you don't understand that i'm born again why are all these things happening and yet the bible says being christ is a new creation all things are passed away but you don't understand that it has to do with the state or the status of your spirituality or your spiritual man because if you were shot and you got born again you are still short if you are tall and you get born again you are still tall nothing changes but it's your spirit that is renewed and awakened that's why Lazarus was raised from the dead. He came out of the grave. He was alive, but he was bound and couldn't lose himself. And Jesus didn't say, Lazarus, lose thyself. He said to the disciples, lose him and let him go. What does that mean? It means you can be saved, you can be born again and still be bound with grave clothes. Still be bound with sickness and infirmity. Still be bound with past habits mentality attitudes you still can be bound with the old man even though you are born again so it is the responsibility of the church when people get born again to lose them and that is where deliverance comes in are you hearing me now the problem with deliverance with the church is this a lot of people 
have a difficulty in dealing with the issue of deliverance there is nothing like deliverance ministry in the bible deliverance is the responsibility of every believer and deliverance simply means casting out devils and every believer has the mandate according to mark 16 16 and 17 every believer has the mandate to cast out devils now believers can be possessed because the word possessed means that you are spirit soul and body taken spirit soul and body you are taken so the demons they dwell in your spirit soul and body it can happen if you are born again but a believer can be influenced by demons a believer can be demonized a believer can be compelled by demons vexed by demons agitated by demons demons can attach themselves to certain parts of the believers body for instance Luke 13 Jesus said ought not this daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound these 18 years be loose so she was a daughter of Abraham. And who is Abraham? The father of faith, the friend of God. So this woman belonged to the family of God. She was the seed of Abraham and the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. But even though she was the seed of Abraham, the seed of the father of faith, the seed of a friend of God, she was bound for 18 years till Jesus came <clears throat> to lose her. So you can be born again and be tormented and be tortured emotionally, mentally, physically by demons. And if you don't understand how they work, 2 Corinthians 2, 11, the Bible said, we are not ignorant of his devices, lest he gains advantage over us. So the enemy keeps you and I ignorant in order to have an advantage and the bible said my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge so the maintenance of ignorance is the advantage of the enemy over you so you cannot be ignorant of the devices of the adversary he always up with things and one of the things he does is to make you relax and feel that everything is okay and make you program you to a point where you become desensitize why is he is aggressively attacking you aggressively hitting you on all sides afflicting your bodies with pains torturing you emotionally and mentally with all kinds of thoughts and fiery darts and you are just there and you feel like well it's one of those things it's not one of those things it's demonic aggression are you hearing me somebody and you need to come to a place where you realize when these things are coming at you that in the name of jesus the enemy is on your case a young man came to see me and said papa pray for me anytime i see some of these sisters i, I have problems i get erection and I fasted and prayed and bind it and it's not going. And I said, stop binding it. Because one of these days when you marry, you need it. Amen. And he said, so what do I do? And I said, I said, the Bible talks about the last of the eye, the last of the flesh and the pride of life. So I said, what you do is override it. Say, I override. Override. Yeah, override it. And say, I bind compelling spirits spirit on assignment to compel me in a particular direction and to awake my physical energy and senses because you see let me tell you something if you ever okay yes lord give me a single brother a brother that is not married you're not married come stand here face the congregation Potential husband, sisters. Sisters, potential husband. Keep that in mind. Now, I want four sisters who are not married. Come. Stand here. Stand here. Okay. Sister, stand the other side. Okay. All right. I want another sister not married. Come stand here. Okay, and I want 
I want three brothers who are not married. Come here, sister. <coughs> Another brother. Send me the brothers. Quickly, quickly. I need some brothers. I need some brothers. Unmarried brothers. It's okay. Yeah, let them all stand. Uh, social distance, please. Social distance, please. Okay, sisters, brothers. These are potential husbands and potential wives. Now, now, now I want you to hear me. The Bible talks about how can you take the body of Christ and to a hallowed? How, what fellowship has light and darkness? Hmm? So watch this. He decides to marry this sister face each other okay. look at me don't look at her look at me so they start to marry everybody face this brother that's it everybody face this sister so the two of them decides to marry the bible talks about soul ties say soul ties right. and people don't understand what sex is all about sex is marriage Whenever you have sex with somebody, you have joined yourself, spirit, soul, and body to the person, you have established a covenant, and you are married. And you become a partaker of the person, and the person becomes a partaker of you. So it is also a place of transferring of spirits, and it's also a place of trying to find the right word. Come. The thought of the righteous is a place of exchange. So it's also a place of transactions. So what sex is powerful, be careful. So it's not just what you're feeling, a lot takes place when you have sex. So watch this. This brother had an affair with all these ladies before he got born again. She played with all these men before she got born again so watch this they meet they decide to get married do you know how many people he brings into the relationship you know how many people she brings to the relationship so when they walk down through the aisle it's five five so 10 are coming together in marriage and they go to bed on the honeymoon night is five versus five and so on the bed she has the memories the events same here the performance that took place between all the former ones and they all come to bed together and those are interferences it interferes with this new relationship so a sister called me and said anytime me and my one, a husband have problems and issues one of my old boyfriend will call me and ask me are you okay is everything okay a sister called me and said uh, one of my old boyfriend we met and he said to me, are you happy? Are you happy in this new relationship? Are you happy? I mean, I mean, if you are not happy, I mean, I don't want to mess up your marriage, but you know, I'm here. I will always give you the, that experience which you had before. So that is why a lot of our marriages are not working because we come in with soul ties with influences with memories of events of the past that hasn't been dealt with so in order for this marriage to work this brother has to break all the soul ties she must call their names and break all the soul ties and sever her soul memory her subconsciousness break and sever all these things on time free herself in order for this marriage to work and then she they have to all for divine exemptions and cleansings 
exemption from consequences of the relationships of the past that in the name of Jesus anything that he took from any of these ladies he must renounce and return say I renounce, I renounce. any personality Anything I took anything I from, took. Any one of them, from any one of them, I renounce it, I renounce and, it. I it and I return it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And anything they took from me, took from me. I recover it in the name I of Jesus. Recover it in the name of Jesus. If you don't deal with this thing, I don't care who bless the marriage. Who pronounced you husband and wife? You were already married. And there will be conflicts, there will be fights, there will be all kinds of problems. I've dealt with situations where men and women have told me that in order for them to have orgasm, they have to think about a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend to come there. And you know what that is? So ties. It hasn't been broken. Tonight, we command the breaking of soul ties. Soul ties. On the account of the word of the Lord, yeah. we deploy the sword of the Lord. Yeah. And we cut through right now. Cut through. We command the breaking of soul ties. Yeah. We disengage. 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 Discontinue. Discontinue. Past relationships. Past relationships. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every soul, every soul tie, any tie, any tie between my soul, between my soul and any woman or man, and any woman or man, dead or alive, dead or alive, anywhere, anywhere, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I untie, I untie my spirit, soul, and body, spirit, soul, and, and I break every link, and I break every as I put my hands together, I break it, break it, break the link, break the link, break the link, break it, loose. Break the link. 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 Break it. Break it. Break it. Amen. Break it. Sit down for two minutes. Thank you all. Thank you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you all. Now watch this. Watch this. Do you know why the woman of Samaria married five times? And the sixth one was in hers. It was a soul tie problem. If you don't deal with a soul tie, you'll follow. And it doesn't matter how much you love or care for one another and how much you speak in tongues. It's not a tongue issue here. This is this is these are things we call rules of engagement and ordinances. And we need to deal with it. Because if we don't deal with it, your spirit may be free, but your soul and your body is entangled. And it's not everybody you go to bed with. Because if the person is carrying a curse of poverty, or the person is carrying some kind of a bad luck, as soon as you go to bed with the person, you become a partaker of whatever the person is carrying. So whatever is fighting that person immediately establish access to you. And if it's a spirit of death that is contending with that individual, as soon as you go to bed with that person, you give the spirit of death access to your life. Lift up your right hand. Say any access. Any access. I have given. I have given. To the adversary. To the adversary. Known. Or unknown, or unknown, on the account of the blood, on the account of the blood of Jesus, of Jesus, I renounce it, I renounce it right now, right now, and I block it now, I block it. Put your hands renounce and block, renounce and block it now. In the name of Jesus, renounce and block. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sit down quickly. God, I wish I have time to work this thing. There's so much inside of me. It's just the time and the time. And so I'll, I'll move away from the mother and the child were all tied up. And I want every mother and father here to be determined to be loose. Loose from anger. Loose from whatever it is that holds you at ransom. Loose from any form of addiction. Loose. 
loose from poverty and be determined and announce and declare that you will be free and all your children will be free before you die that you are not dying until you are totally free and all your children are free from the hand of the enemy that the enemy shall have no hold on you nor any hold on your kids in the name of Jesus say yes, yes. let anyone chosen before time appointed before time to be used by God to usher in the glory of God like in the day of Jesus on Palm Sunday that have been tied up in any village in any township in any family in any city in any background today we release the prophetic word release. and send for the angels yes. to go to the hospital yes. to go to facilities yes. mental facilities yes. to prisons yes. all over the continent yes. let them be released release. let them be untied Untie. we put our hands together Command their release. Release. Whether in the air, on land, release. On water. Release. Command their release. Come on, release. Open your mouth. Release. Command somebody's release. Release. Let God use you. Release. To untie the donkey. Uh. The donkey. Release. The donkey. Release. The mother. Release. And the child. Release. The father. Release. And the son. Release. And the grandchild. Release. Loose them. Loose them. Sit down for two minutes. Sit down for two minutes. Come with me to Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 29. You see, when Jesus led the other side of Jordan, when I take you to Israel and I take you on the Sea of Galilee, we do a lot on the Sea of Galilee, I'll show you what happened. Jesus left this side of the Sea of Galilee, moving to the other side, to the land of the Gadarenes. And watch it, there was a reaction. Say a reaction. A reaction. The reaction was not about the, the guy that was possessed with the legion alone. The reaction was more than that. The reaction had to do with the woman that was suffering from an issue of blood for 12 years. That was about to die. And it has to also do with a young girl who was 12 years old. And was about to die. As much as she died. And Jesus resurrected the child. So she bled for 12 years. And she was 12 years old. Old generation. Versus the young generation. And Jesus was on his way. To go and heal the young generation. But the old generation. Intercepted. The deliverance of the young generation. And the old generation. Was bleeding for 12 months and within life and the 12 years old was also about to lose her life both of them were chosen for the testimony and yet one was hemorrhaging for 12 years lost everything and another at the age of 12 died because the old generation intercepted the process of her deliverance. That's why the old generation must be whole. The old generation must be strong. The old generation must be healed. Because unless we are healed and whole, we will interfere with the process of the next generation. And that's why pastors, men of God, preachers, must be careful that you don't become covetous. That you don't become jealous and envious of the next generation that's why the old generation must be strong and that's why the young generation also must honor the old generation and must bless the old generation god said he said i will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and that of the children to the fathers lest i come and smite the earth with a curse so something happened when the old and the new generation don't connect it brings a curse to the land and that's why are suffering all over and there's strife and division among churches everywhere and among the old generation and the young generation because the old is saying these young people don't have respect for us 
and the young people are saying that these young people don't recognize us hear me it's not a matter of being recognized. young man when your season comes there is no old man no old or young prophet that can stop your season are you hearing me somebody just keep serving the lord and honor those that deserves to be honored and and wait for your season wait for your time don't rush take it easy your season will come and when your season come listen i have invitations everywhere my daughter i have invitations from television stations and everywhere all over the world and i tell them i, I say girl i can't do it i have conflict i can't honor it they will fly to ghana stay in a hotel with private jet he will tell you to see me you must come papa and i can't go i just can't go but before i used to fast and pray for open doors and the doors weren't opening now i don't fast and pray for open doors are you hearing me there's a season coming for somebody here where it will be sweatless and the things you never had before you will have it in abundance and you won't know what to do with it if you believe hey, yes sit down for two minutes quickly quickly bishop mm -hmm. and a certain woman uh -huh. which had an issue of blood 12 years 12 years she hemorrhaged for 12 years suffered many things many of, things of many physicians tried so many things when from one doctor to another doctor let that cycle come to an end in your life any hidden disease any sickness any situation in your life with your health that has become a mystery that medical science don't understand and know what to do let that mystery be demystified tonight yes we demystify it in the name of jesus yes Put your hands and say, I demystify. 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 And I command permanent solution. Permanent solution. Sit down for two minutes. Go ahead. Say permanent solution. Permanent solution. Say a way out. A way out. A way out in the name of Jesus. A way out in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. And I'd spent all that she had. Uh huh and was nothing better uh -huh. rather grew worse grew worse when she had heard of jesus anything that is growing worse anything that has become a complication that is not getting better but is growing worse today we reverse it in the name of jesus reverse it. We reverse it in the name of Jesus. Say, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. Say, I overturn it in the name of Jesus. it in the name of Jesus. Sit down for two minutes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. When she heard of Jesus, uh -huh. came in the press behind uh -huh. and touched his garment. Yes, sir. For she said, I may touch but his garment. She his said, she said, she said, she said, she said. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou moved and cast into the and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. He said, What have you said? What are you saying? Say something. Single sisters and brothers. Say next year by this time. In the name of Jesus. I will be married without soul ties. To a man and to a woman after God's own heart. In the name of Jesus. Ozovo, Prince, I didn't hear you. <laughs> you are speaking in the spirit all right good amen listen next year by this time say next year by this time we'll still be here i'll still be here in good health in good health still alive still alive 
working the works of God. Working of God. Experiencing. Experiencing the wonders of God. The wonders of God. I will not die. I will not die. By coronavirus. By coronavirus. I will not die. I will not die. By any manipulation. Manipulation. Nothing will take me out. Not take me in out. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break the power of the grave. I break the power of the grave. Hell and of death. Hell and of death. I have over me. You shall have no power over me. You know when Joseph brothers went to see Joseph. Joseph said to them, "Your father, the old man, is he." And listen to what they said. They said to him, he's in good health and still alive. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. During this coronavirus. During this coronavirus. And after, cor after coronavirus. I will be in good health. I will be in good health. And I will still be alive. And I will still be alive. Put your hand on if you believe it. For two minutes. Go ahead, baby. Mm -hmm. But she said, if I may touch but his garments, his yes, coat, uh -huh. I'll be made whole. I shall be made whole. And straightway, mm -hmm. the fountain of her blood was dried up. I declare that every hemorrhaging dries up right now. By the of God, we dry it up. Dry it up. Come on, hemorrhaging, dry up. Dry up. Any form of bleeding, dry up. Dry up. In the stomach, in the intestine, the calling. Dry up in the name Dryer. of Jesus. Say, I command any bleeding. Command any bleeding. In the stomach. In the stomach. In the calling. In the calling. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Dry. Every hemorrhage. Every hemorrhage. Dry up. Dry up. Weed up. Bleeding cease. Bleeding cease. Break the cycle of hemorrhaging. Break the cycle right now. Put your hands up. Break it in the name Break of Jesus. Break it. Break it. Break it. In the name of Jesus. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break. Break. Okay, sit down. My God, I haven't started yet. My time is up. Whew. Okay, let me finish this quickly. Straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up. Straightway. Say she, immediately. Immediately. Say immediately. Immediately. Say by executive order. Executive order. I command. I command. With immediate effect. With immediate effect. Let the cycle. Let the cycle. Break. Break. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Break. Break. Now. Now. By executive order. By executive order. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. See. See. Immediate effect. With immediate effect. Sit down. And she felt in her body uh -huh. that she was healed of that plague. Yeah. Everybody carrying any plague you are living here tonight amen you wake up tomorrow morning free of every plague amen free of every sickness yeah free of every disease yeah free of every infirmity free free of every affliction free somebody say free free say freedom freedom say freedom 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 in jesus name Go ahead. While he yet spake, uh -huh. there came from the ruler of the sixth house, uh -huh. setting head, uh -huh. thy daughter is dead. Uh -huh. Why troublest thou the master any further? Uh -huh. And as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, uh -huh. he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Only believe. Say, there shall be a performance. There shall be a performance. Say, irrespective irrespective of what the situation looks like of what the situation looks like i declare i declare that by the end by the, by the end of this service of this service there shall be a performance there shall be a performance of the word of the law the word of the law where i'm concerned where i'm concerned where my children are concerned where my children are concerned my health and finances my health and finances ministry ministry going out going out Coming in. Investment. Investment. Treasures. Treasures. There shall be. There shall be. A performance. A performance. Sit down. That was what Jesus meant. That was what Jesus meant when he spoke. That hey, don't be afraid. There will be a performance. Amen. Let me give you. I have some more things to work on. But I need to stop somewhere. And uh, I'll come again. Amen. 
say, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I call upon heaven and earth. I call upon heaven and earth. To bear witness. To bear witness. Of this declaration. This declaration. That I will finish. That I will finish. Every. Every. Unfinished business. Unfinished business. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Concerning nations. Concerning nations. My generation. My generation. Friends and loved ones. Friends and loved ones. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. I will finish. I will finish. Every unfinished business. Every unfinished business. I am not yet finished. I am not yet finished. Sit down. Let me move on. There's so much meat there. If I go into details, time won't permit me. So let's look at Acts 12, 1 to 10. And I may just have to stop. And I'll continue some other time. Right. Acts 12, 1 to 10. Yeah. Now about that time, uh -huh. Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. Say any evil hand. Any evil hand. That has been stretched. That has been stretched. Against me and the church. Against me. In this geographical location. In this geographical location. Say, I command. I command. By the power of Jesus' name. The power of Jesus' name. Let that evil hand. Let that evil hand. Wither. 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 Say, any hand. Any hand. Stretch. Stretch. To strike me. To strike me. Or anyone that concerns or me. Or anyone that concerns me. Home and abroad. Home and abroad. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put my hands together. I put my hand. Let that hand wither. Let that hand wither. 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 In the name of Jesus. Wither. Wither. Sit down. Wither. 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 You know what I need? An all night. I need an all night. I'm telling you. Amen. Go ahead. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. Uh -huh. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Hey, not this time around. Not this time around. Somebody say, not this one, not this one. Not this one, not this say, one. Say, not me, not me. Not me. Not, me. not anyone that concerns me. Not anyone that concerns me. Say, wrong address. Wrong address. This time around. Not this time around. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it boomerang. Let it boomerang. 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 Put your hands and say, boomerang. Boomerang. In the name of Jesus. Boomerang. 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 Sit down for two minutes. Not this time around. Not this time around. Not this one. Not me. Not me. This one is intended. This one is exempted. Say I'm exempted. I'm exempted. Say I have divine immunity. I have divine immunity. Say I secure divine exemption. It's called divine exemption. Exemption. From every agenda of the enemy. Agenda of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sit down for two minutes. Exemption from judgment. Go ahead. And when he had apprehended him, mm -hmm. he put him in prison uh -huh. and delivered him to four quaternions uh -huh. of four soldiers uh -huh. to keep him, uh -huh. intending after Easter uh -huh. to bring him forth to the people. Uh -huh. Peter therefore was kept in prison, uh -huh. but was made without season of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, mm -hmm. bound with two chains, mm -hmm. and the keeper before the door kept the prison. Mm -hmm. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, mm -hmm. and a light shined in the prison, mm -hmm. and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off oh, yeah. from his hands. Somebody's chain is falling off. Amen. The prison gates are opening for some open. A light is shining in somebody's darkness. Yes. I said the light is shining in somebody's yes. darkness. And somebody's chains are falling off. I chains falling off. I command chains fall off. Fall off. Name of Jesus. Jesus. I command the prison gates to open. Open. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Arise up quickly. Mm -hmm. And his chains fell off from his hands. Uh -huh. And the angel said unto him, Get thyself. Get thyself. Bind on thy sandals. Uh -huh. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And wish not that it was true which was done by the angel but thought he saw a vision when they were past the first and the second ward they came unto the iron gate that leaded unto the city which opened to them of his own accord hear me this is what i call sweatless breakthrough the gates will open on its own accord for you hear me you are coming into a season you don't have to ask you have to command doors will open on their own accord yes watch and see it's coming go ahead and they went out uh -huh. and on through one street uh -huh. and forthwith the angel departed from him sit down two minutes you see peter was chosen for greatness at this time the first and second book of Peter wasn't written. He was still carrying heavy duty stuff inside of him. But the enemy had a plan, had an agenda to take him out. And the Bible was the night before. The night before. The night before. I declare on authority that before that set time, before that moment and occasion, the enemy has programmed in the womb of time to take you out to destroy you that you will escape in the name of escape. Jesus. Escape! Say escape, 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 escape. I see divine intervention. Escape. Say I call for divine intervention. Divine Put your hands and say divine intervention. Divine intervention. Say I command divine intervention. Command divine intervention. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Amen. Stop here right now. Anyone who has issues with your bones marrow spine any bone problem or disease come stand here and then those of you also who have just come stand lift up your hands those of you also who have tumors growth fibers of any kind shape or form come please maintain the social distance please maintain it please maintain social distance in the name of Jesus, I command, I command healings, I command divine recoveries. Yes. Let there be a performance of the word of the Lord. Yes. That from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I should touch, lay hands, just touch. Some of you know exactly where the issue is, attach yourself. And let that hand become the hand of the Lord. Yes. Let it become the hand of the Lord. Yes. And let there be a performance. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, yes. I command your release. Release. I command your release. Release. Release of mind. Yes. The bones. The bones. The knee. The knee. The marrow. The marrow. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed of every joint and bone condition. Yes. Be healed of every joint and bone disease. Heal. Be healed of the spine. Rebuking the demon of the spine. Yes. Commanding demons that have attached themselves. To your joint, to your marrow, to your bones, to your knee, to your spine. Loose them. 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 It's happening right now. It's happening. It's happening. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Put your hands together and say, Loose them. 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 Now. 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 Loose. 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 Release. Loose. Release. 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 Let go. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. 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 Put your hands together. Say out. Out. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them. Loose them, loose them, loose them, loose them. In the name of Jesus, loose, loose them knee. now. Loose them now. Release the knee. Release the Release knee. the spine. We rebuke any demon sitting on your shoulders. In Jesus name. Any demon that has attached itself to any organ of your body yes. from the crown of your head yes. to the sole of your feet Jesus. i release the fire of god fire. in the name of jesus to drive it out yeah. put your hands together call on the fire of god fire. call on the fire of god fire. put your hands together call, call on the fire of god call on the fire, fire. Of god. 
God. Fire. On the fire of God. Fire. 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 Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Drive it out. 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 Tumors dissolve. Disappear. Cease. Grow. Fibro. Disappear. 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 From their bodies now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right. Quickly, because of time, I want to do something quickly. If you had a problem with your knee and you couldn't bend, you couldn't walk, you had a pain, examine it. You had a problem with your spine, your joint, anywhere. And those of you have growths, you have a tumor, a cyst. Somebody, something in the, in the left breast, in the left breast. Examine it, check it and see, you see that it's gone. Check it. Some growth is shrinking. It's shrinking, others has disappeared. Whatever it is right now, I need you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just some of you, it happy, it's going to happen right now before you leave. Others on your way home. Others by tomorrow morning. Are you hearing me? So I want to take some testimonies right now. For those of you that something has happened right now in your body and you know it, just lift up your hands and give God the glory. Okay? All right, let me take some few testimonies right now. Stand where you are. Tell me. Tell us exactly what happened. Give us some volume, please. Okay. Um, last year, I had surgery on my knee uh -huh. and uh, I was having difficulty walking and now I can move it. And now there's no pain. You couldn't do this before. Yeah, it's giving me difficulty. I couldn't do like this. You couldn't do like that before. Yes. For how long? Um, ever since surgery, I had. From last year. From last year. Yes. Now you can do it. Yes. Okay, take a walk here. Take a walk here. Okay. Oh yeah. You couldn't do that before. Okay, give God praise. Give Him praise. Praise Him. Yes, quickly, tell us what happened. Oh, it's been like three years. I couldn't bend my knee. I'm laughing now. I couldn't bend my knee. I don't feel my age now. For three years. Three years. You yeah. couldn't bend your knee. I couldn't walk up like the, the stairs. I don't, I don't you couldn't walk. do that. No. And, and right now? I used to complain a lot. Yeah. You, you used to what? I used to complain. I don't feel. You complain a lot, and right now there's nothing. It's gone. It's, it's gone. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Oh, come on, somebody, it's gone. Put your hands together. Praise him. Yeah, tell us. So I was in an accident two years ago. This, I guess, max like two years. And I went through physical therapy, and it was like it had gone in my this side and my spine and my lower back. Mm -hmm. So I've been what complaining. I, I feel healed. Um, Are you sure? Like, when I was sitting there, when I was coming here today, the person who I drove with, so I told her, I can't, it's, when I was sitting here, I said my back is hurting me, I can't. Is it that? You don't feel it? It's gone. Come on, somebody. Somebody praise him. Are you praising him? Come on, somebody. Listen, let me tell you something. You don't know what pain is. Ah until you get pain. You don't know what it looks like to be sick until you get sick. Listen, I have seen people and loved ones in pain and for days and weeks, I would just sit down and tears would be flowing through my eyes. Until the Lord said to me, stop crying, attack, attack it. It's a spirit of infirmity. It's a spirit of affliction, attack it. Say, I attack it. In the name of Jesus, tell us. I had arthritis since I was 13. Mm. My and my hips and my ankles. And today my hip was hurting as I was laying down, but I have no pain anymore. You don't feel it? It's gone. Can you can you give God praise, somebody? Oh Jesus. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Praise him. Can you see? Since you was 13, it's gone. Who else? Talk to me. I just need Who two else? more. Two more. Quickly. Who else got a test? Two more. Run, run, come, hurry up. Come here. Come here. Who else? Run. Listen, if you don't say it and you keep it, it will come back. Yeah, what is it? What has but when you testify, you are free. Testimony makes you whole.
10 were healed one came back jesus said your faith has made you whole the others were healed but they weren't made whole testimony makes you whole they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony you want to overcome testify yes um i was moving out of my dorm since may and because of the pressure my my right knee started hurting and when i was walking over here i could feel the pain when i'm doing that but right literally the back i don't feel nothing you don't feel anything come on somebody I need two more people, two more. One here, one more. One here, one here, quickly. Three, for let's finish past, it, four. For uh -huh. the past week, I had a shooting headache. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. When I was, the pain was coming from here. And I was touching it. And right now, I'm... You don't feel anything. Not even a little pain. Nothing. No pain, no pain. pain. It was for me, it was so bad. I feel like somebody was taking a knife and stabbing me. My God. So I, I drink like four Advil, nothing. Four Advil. Four Advil, nothing. I drink coffee, nothing. Nothing. It was from here. I even said I'm going to see the doctor, my doctor next week, because for I don't, I don't wear glasses no more. But like I said I'm healed. Bum reason, my now I don't feel it. Somebody give him. Come, Come sister. That's a major. Okay, testimony. let's. Yeah. Since I was teen, there was a lump breast. The doctors had said it was but not been there, and he's shrunken and just. Come. Jesus, loose her now. Go, put it. Let her go. Loose her. Loose her. Let her go. Let her go right now. Listen, the other lady here. The, there's a lady here. Eh? There is some kind of a growth in your breath it just disappeared yeah. uh, apart from this one yes go ahead quickly i've been having pains with my fingers mm -hmm. and then when i sleep in at night i can't move my hands mm -hmm. but when i came i had like uh, i was feeling pain mm -hmm. and i've been following you online so what? I've, i'm healed you don't I, feel any pain. I, yes. All the pain is gone. Yes. Move your fingers. Do something. Do something dangerous. Nothing. No pain. Put your hands together. Give God praise. Yes. Since fifth anniversary. You are what? Since fifth anniversary, I've been having a little rush around my best area. But after this concert, I am healing Jesus. Have a Take your time. Don't cry. <laughs> Since fifth anniversary, I've been having to rush around my left wrist. Some rashes around my left wrist. Suppose she said rashes. Yeah, she's a woman. Don't go into details. Come on, put your hands together. Rejoice with her. Amen. Amen. She's loose and healed. Give God praise. Amen. Amen. That's a testimony okay. here, Papa. Yes. Um, since 2010, I had a banal tumor inside of my left breast, mm -hmm. and um, the doctor said I could leave it. And as you were as we were praying, um, it shrunk, but now I don't feel it anymore. There. Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! Somebody, put your hands together! Somebody, scream! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Jesus is Lord! Okay, let's hear this one quickly. The enemy been attacking my bones, my shoulder, my knees, my spine, my head. It feel like I've been chewing my bones and it's like it, my bones was falling down. And I, Father, you will deliver me. Release your angels of healing in my body. And I feel like my bones were going back together. Okay. So what happened? Everything is fixed. No pain. Okay. Nothing. Put your hands together. Give him praise. Yes. Praise the Lord. This one. Yeah. I actually came some heavy pain on my left entire leg. And as I begin to pray and I begin to lay my hands, the healing begins to start taking place and I don't feel any more pain. Oh yeah? You see the way she's moving? Come on, put your hands together. Next year by this time, girl, God is going to blow your mind. Come on, receive it now in Jesus' name. Yes, another testimony. Yes, quickly, 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 come quickly, come quickly. Since um, November 2016, I was told I have a fiber adenoma in my right breast. And then I felt another lump in my left breast a couple months after. But I was trying to find it. But this one's very small and I really can't find this one anymore. You can't find it. You can't feel it. Disappear in the name of Jesus. 
Lisa in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus. Dry up. Say dry up. Dry up. Dry up. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. Dry up. Amen. This says she had a, a pain on the side, uh -huh. but as soon as she prayed, the, the, the pain disappeared. For how long? Um, it's been going on since this morning. I almost couldn't make it. You almost couldn't make it? Yeah. And after the prayer, what happened? I can move. You can move. <laughs> you see the way she's moving? I'm telling you, the lady got some moves. Amen. Put your hands together for her moves. Amen. Okay, one more. One last one. Yes. So I think I fell on Monday, and when I woke up, my knee and my leg right here was hurting. I said, God, when I come here, I trust and believe that you heal me because I have. So, by the grace of God, I don't feel any pain right here. Nothing. No pain. It's gone. Put your hands together. I declare right now, as we move to the next session, that you are free from pain. Yeah. That you are from demonic torture. Amen. You are free from demonic affliction. Free. That you are free in the name of Jesus of any demon that has attached itself to your emotion, your mind, your will, any organ of your body, you are loose. Be on time. On time. On time. Put your hands and say, on time. On time. On time. The name of Jesus. On time. On time. Thank you, Lord. Please take your seats. Welcome, Prophet Ajimai. For the next session. Amen. I will have to come back. I can't finish my message right now. It's too loaded. Every scripture is loaded. Amen. I love you. No, I love you more than you love me. Amen. Osafu, over to you. Bless the people. Amen. Oh, clap your hand for Jesus. That is for Worcester, January. So get ready for the outpouring in Worcester. Block those dates. Pray about it. There shall be a performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Bring me some oil quickly. Let me pray over pasta. Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the word of the Lord that was spoken a long time ago in the day, before their fathers and their mothers came together that for such a time like this in this city you will raise them as a voice as a standard as a weapon of war yes. as a battle axe yes. as game changers yes. as a wonder a wonder to so many that men and women will stand in awe if they shall continue to humble themselves and work with you that through them and by them you will uproot you will demolish demolish you will overthrow overthrow you will build and you will plant and use them to bring about a new order and use them to shut the gates of yes. this city. To possess the gates of the enemy. Yes. Not just in this city, but in this land. That they shall become. They shall become. They shall become, Lord. They shall become. Yes. That which was written in the volumes of the book. Yes. In eternity before time by judicial decisions. Yes, Lord. And now we separate them from their mother's house. Yes. And from their father's house. Yes. And from their background. Yes. Separate them from their past. Jesus. Each one of them. Yes. By divine authority. Yes, Lord. And now as I pour the oil of God. Yes. Let there be a stirring. Stirring. The stirrings of the spirit. Jesus. Within their belly. Yes. Let the oil of God. Yes. Come upon you. Shall do uh -huh. Let yes. there be a stirring right Stirring. Now. Stirring, 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 stirring. Stirring. Pray for them right now. Pray for a breakthrough, breakout, breakthrough. 
You know what? I want pastors to come and stand here like this from here to this side. If you're a pastor, men of God, quickly. From here, maintain social distance, please. From here, going. Maintain social distance, yes. I took us. Open your palms. Open your palms. Because of time, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. Open your palms. Jesus. Jesus. Father, let the oil of God destroy the yoke. For you said, pray unto the Lord of the harvest to send laborers. Father, these are laborers available for the end time harvest, for end time commissions, for end time assignments. Seek for laborers. And now, Father, I present to you laborers. Laborers to be deployed laborers. and used for the end time commissions, the end time assignment, and for the end time harvest. That they will become battle axes in your hand. A battle axe, Holy Spirit, that you will deploy them and use them as you please across the nations, across the continent, that you wear up the mantles. Stay up giftings, stay up callings, stay up anointings, and let fresh fire come upon them. Fresh fire, fresh oil, in the name of Jesus, receive fresh oil, receive fresh fire, fresh oil, receive it now, receive it, receive, 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 receive fresh fire, receive fresh oil, take it now, take it, in the name of Jesus, give me some more oil, receive fresh fire, receive fresh fire. Fresh oil. From tonight, you'll never be the same again. From tonight, you'll never be the same. Receive fresh oil. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. Put your hands together for them. Receive fresh oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. a point of contact to something that has happened to you tonight and hear me I want every one of you fast a day or two or three after tonight a day two or three it will stir up what has happened but something has taken effect with your hands lifted up Heavenly Father I declare by the prophetic word that there shall be a performance of the things that you so will and desire for every one of them yeah. and that the limit is broken broken the visual cycle is broken broken the demonic embargoes that was placed upon them demonic injunction is hereby revoked 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 put as i say revoked revoked so we revoke every demonic injunction over their ministry their lives their finances their marriages, Revolt. the embargo is lifted. lifted. Say lifted. 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 Put your hands and say lifted. 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 We lift the embargo in the name of Jesus. It's lifted. Now, above all, I declare 
that there shall be no loss of any life. That none shall die prematurely. None. That none shall be incapacitated. In the name of Jesus. That no one will be bedridden or sick. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That the enemy will not snatch anyone from us. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. That the limits is lifted. lifted. The embargo is lifted. Lifted. The vicious cycle is broken. Broken. And now I command a release of increase. Release. A release. 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 Let this be the oil and the anointing to possess the gates. Yes. Possess the gates. Possess. Possess the gates. Possess. Possess the gates. Possess. Say, I take possession, I take possession. of the gates of my enemy. Of my enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today, you will experience increase. Amen. Increase in the ministry, in your prayer life. Yes. In your ministry, yes. in the oil, yes. in everything you do, do it with the oil with ease. In Jesus' name, I want you, as I move and walk, I want you to pray for me and tell God, cause the Archbishop to see many decades of sweet victories. Pray that prayer for me right now. Pray. Keep clapping, let's pray for him. Clap your hands and let's pray for the Archbishop. Clap your hands. Let's pray for his preservation. Let's pray. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. Let's pray for him. Don't be tired. Child of God, clap your hands and pray for him. Clap your hands and pray for him. Keep praying. Everywhere you are, clap your hands. Clap your hands and pray for him. Clap your hands and pray for him. Let's pray for the Archbishop. 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 Clap those hands. 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 Clap those hands. Clap those hands. Clap those hands. Somebody pray. Don't be tired. In prayer, lift up your voice. Let's pray for himself, the wife, the children, the grandchildren. Let's pray. Wherever you are, clap those hands. Let's pray for their preservation. Clap your hands. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Clap those hands. Somebody pray. Clap those hands. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Clap those hands. Clap those hands. Let's pray for the Archbishop. Let's pray for his preservation. Long life. Good health. He will see many days, many generations, many days, many years. Clap your hands. Somebody pray. Clap your hands. Somebody pray. Clap your hands. Pray, 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 pray. What is tonight? Something has switched in your favor. The reason why you cannot shout and respond well, you don't understand spiritual things. If you know what are taking place, I can declare to the best of your birthdays. Yeah. By the impact of our Father, every closed doors are open. Yeah. Hey, FT members. This is a, a, a better platform to usher you to the pink. Yeah. Are you for your pinking? 
Can I say this to you? One of my greatest joy, one of my greatest joy is that everyone that was bound, you have been let loose. Those watching us online and those in-house, we declare to you by the mandates that the Lord has placed upon our Father, His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Every door that was shut on you, that door is open. It's not time for your possession. Shut it! Shut possession! For the next two minutes, you are declaring that I enter into possession. Let me tell you, you can be approved with a card. But if you don't activate the card, you are limited. There are many of you that it has been a release, but you are limited. You are activating what has been released to you. Are you hearing? Papa said something and very profound and prophetic. A year by this time. Hear me? A year by this time. Anyone believing God for their own house, you just have it. Yeah. Let me share this with you. Something broke tonight. Anyone watching us online and anyone in here, by the declaration and the anointing upon our Father, you know what we are doing? I am standing here for my Father's dream to come to pass. When your father's dream is on the line, your vision must be on hold. And the problem of many of us here, we are fighting for our vision within our father's dream. There are many prophets, let me be honest with you, that they don't have longevity. There's one thing to prophesy, and there's one thing to be in the realms of the spirit. There's a difference between prophecy and in the realms. You can prophesy, but you're not. The realms is the place of determination. When you are in the realms, that is where things are settled. And where the Lord has used our Father to preach us tonight, by divine authority, your testimony is settled. Your new job is settled. Your next education program is settled. Your ministry is settled. I see divine settlement. Shout and shout out! I have to listen I'm doing because my father's dream must be actualized. Tonight, the spirit of the Lord ministered to me. There are 320 people here that they will not sweat for a miracle again. Can I share something with you? When the word of the Lord release, your shout is one platform. Your giving is a push. When a prophet speaks a word, the platform is one thing. The shout is the platform. Your giving is the push. Anywhere you meet a word of God that befits what you are believing God for, never shout alone. Shout and push it. Hear me? Within the next 24 hours, someone is walking into a miracle. There is an email on the way coming. There is a phone call on the way coming. There's an SMS test on the way coming. Who is that person that I'm talking to? Push it, push it. Push that word with something. Push that word, push that word. Push it into your manifestation. Push it, push it, push it.
said it was. One of the things that the Lord told me tonight to tell you, there is a year by this time miracle on your head. Do you know what the prophet told Do you know what the prophet told um, told the woman on the land of Shunem? Say a year by this time on my return. I am here to declare to everybody, man of God, the problem of us is that we don't understand the words of the spiritual season. We don't understand it. We don't understand the word of the spiritual season. Everybody here, hear me as a prophet. After our four word and prayer like this, the next thing to do is to now secure it with your sacrifice. We cannot leave the space of the utterances that our father has pronounced over your destiny. You know what? There are many that we shout. Shouting is one. But let me tell you, how to enforce it is always the problem of the church. Tonight, for me to get into the next prophetic dimension, I stand here as a prophet by the mandate that God has given to me. And as the Lord has confirmed his word throughout the nations of the world, I'm here to let you know, God can pick you from the back side to the front line. Tonight, all you need to do, write down seven things you are believing God for between now and a year by this time. Seven things, hear me. I speak divine authority. Seven things. Seven things. I'm about to put some envelopes on the ground. I'm about to put some envelopes. And everyone, can I have some envelopes? Can you clear the envelopes on the altar? Team members, can you clear it for me? Can you clear? I see the way you sing beautifully. And you sing very nice. So what are you believing God for a year by this time? Of course, every nice lady, one, Lord, I need a husband. That, that, is, not, that is not it. What God has got for you is beyond marriage. I'm telling you. What God has got for you is beyond marriage. Those of you watching us online, I want you to write down seven things and follow the next instruction. Hear me? I stand here by divine authority. Nothing will deny you. The louder you are mean, the better you are. Give me the envelopes. The Lord told me tonight. The Lord told me tonight. The Lord told me. He said, release them. Everyone under the sound of my voice, don't struggle about this. Do you know that you have insurance for your car? And apart from the blood of Jesus, what is your insurance? How many of you sitting here that the insurance policy we have is that get into situations and if you manage to survive, then the policy will now give you some benefit. Insurance that we, we claim, we, we buy for our houses, our cars are no insurance. It is called, try and manage to get out of the challenge so we can manage to take care of you. There is something the Lord dropped in my spirit. He said, between now and a year by this time, let them mark it on their calendar and in their calendar. That anything that they are trusting me for, it shall come to pass. The reason why you are sitting there, you don't understand that you don't understand the words of a prophet. Between now and a year by this time, it's coming to pass. Who is that believer that I'm talking to? It's coming to pass your prophetic oil. It's coming to pass. Hear me? Within the next few minutes, the Lord is about to activate prophetic callings. Within the next few minutes, I got the release that every one of us here, at least if we can sacrifice one dollar of our budget, for the next 365 days and say you know what lord i am securing myself with a year by this time covenant that a year by this time i want to own that house a year by this time i want to be married a year by this time i want to own that company the lord told me that there are 352 entrepreneurs that from today the grace of entrepreneurship has been activated 
Who is that person that I'm talking to? Every entrepreneur, anyone believing God as an entrepreneur, just run and touch the altar with your phone. Touch and say, Lord, I activate entrepreneurship. I activate it. I see seals. I see seals. I see seals. I see seals. Hurry up, I've got angel is about to leave me in one minute. The angel that came is about to leave the place in one minute. Everyone that touched the altar with your phone, lift up your phone. You know how we go with that. My partnership. Let's go. For partnership. Uh, Fellowship. Let's go. God and I, we can change the world. Partnership. Fellowship. God and I, we can change the world. always been late to opportunities and the Lord said that drag him out and move him to his element from fellowship to partnership sir you were made to become a millionaire in the year 2018 and you miss it in the month of September the spirit of the Lord ministry to me. You used to be with a certain lady and no more with that lady. I've broken out with that lady. But that lady, their family are not an easy family. Now, since spiritually, they have tied something to the feet of our brother. And this is the way they do it. Anytime, hey, don't cross my path. Go back. Hurry up. Go back to where you are. Anytime. That our brother is getting to something major because of the chain that he has attached to his feet. Anytime he's about to reach it, they pull him away. I don't, I'm not here to embarrass you. You're in another that's asking you, I was pulling you. Hear me? You are too, you are too slow to enter into things. And the Lord said to me tonight, that chain that has been placed on your feet, that have been pulling you away. 
tonight by the word of our father you are free let's go the fellowship let's go God and seen money before? Have you seen good money? I'm not a sign language person. Have you really seen good money before? Not that much, no. Sorry? Not that much. No. Are you sure? Yeah. You know what God is doing? Your season is due. From fellowship to partnership to partnership Of KFT? No, I'm not. You are not part of KFT. No, Have you met Apostle before? Not personally, no, but I watched them because my wife and the prophetess went to the same school or something. When they say go something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Better position yourself. She's not a she's my sister as well. So when you're talking to you hear me, I'm the wildest prophet you have never met. Don't worry. My name is called Prempe. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. She was hear me. It's a privilege that your wife even went to school with her. It's a privilege. Because the Lord was in her classroom. Anytime that she was in a class, that is why the Lord delivered your wife. Not to should have been dead with an asthmatic attack at that age. Your wife should have been dead. Your wife, she was programmed to die. Why? A family member came around when your wife was born and that family member spat into the wife of your wife at the age of three years because they wanted your wife to die prematurely but God knowing in times that your wife is about to become great the Lord now blocked us your wife was supposed to suffer asthma and die after the asthma she was going to go through a terrible heart attack but God saved her and the Lord said I should minister to you sir the reason I asked that you know what I saw that God was doing something and there was a revolution and you were part of the revolution. Yeah. Sir, the Lord said that time is up. There are three ways that God is about to prosper you. I see real estate. I see oil. And I see commodities, gold and other things. And the Lord said a door is about to open from here. I've seen somebody from Israel connected with you and I saw that the door opened and also connected you to Nigeria. But there's a mystery. At the time that the door opened for you to prosper, one of a certain person connected to you, a brother specifically, got an accident and died. And at the same time that your brother died, that is when your wealth came. So people start speculating a rumor in your family that you have killed your brother for your wealth. 
And the Lord said, it's a trap to embarrass you. But the Lord says, anything that the devil has put together, for you to believe that, that is what the Lord told me, that your brother is brother Emmanuel. Emmanuel, your brother. Yes. Emmanuel. Yes. Sorry? Yes. Your brother. Emmanuel. The Lord says, for where God is taking you, the attack is cancer. Let's go! Standing in, do you know her? That's my wife. That's your wife from fellowship. Hey, let's go. Oh. your season. If you can walk in the ordinances of God and trust God and obey God. Ah, how many times have you been to the labor world? How many times have you been to the labor world? I've never been pregnant. You've never been pregnant? But you are in the labor world. Because virtually, whilst I was moving away, the Lord said, I look at what you have done. And I saw that a fallopian tube has been blocked. And I heard the word that we will let them suffer to have children. And through the lack of children, we will try to cause turbulence from family backgrounds to distort this marriage. But from fellowship, to partnership, Consist of the ovaries to cover her ovaries. But the Lord said to me, Is there anything too hard for me? <laughs> Sir, if we can walk in the ordinances and the direction that God gives to this family, I declare to you, two children are on the way. Hey. From fellowship to partnership. Hey.
tell us, leave, leave, leave. Now. You want to leave a good memory. Papa said that you'll be back. I'll also be back. Here it is my home. Yeah. I have said this to you. I don't need an invitation to come there. Either they like it or not. They'll be down. Just can't sit down. You know, sit down. I'm here. I'm taking care of my business. When I'm finished, I put the microphone down. Because we started KLT well ago in a, certain, a little apartment, Pony Island, years ago. Years ago. Years ago. So when I see the way they are serving Apostle, I say, yeah, the way he used to also carry my Bible and follow me and do you, do you are you on my things and all of that. It reminds me, you know what? You know my joy for Papa to be here to release the oil. I remember years ago when we went to Lady Elsie's and all of that. You know, so many things are coming to me tonight. When my sister and, uh, and, um, and a pastor came out, and I said, Lord, this is the day that in the sight of many millions of watchers around the globe, you have confirmed your word. Can I say this to you? If I don't have anything to do with KFT again for today, what has done, what has been done, that is all. Hear me? There are people that they have opportunity, but they don't want others to be part of it. There is so much undermining spirit. There are some of them coming here ministering. Will I even call my sister an apostle that can you lay oil? They want to claim that they are the champions. But you know what? We have what we call from fellowship Support. to partnership. God and I. Where are you? Let's go. We can change the world from fellowship to fellowship to partnership to partnership. The God and I. Hey, we can change the world. Here comes heaven on earth. Here comes heaven on earth. What is the grace of God upon your life? Is coming upon him. Abaso. Hold them. Hear me. The grace that God has placed on both of you, the struggle of having children is coming to an end. You know, as you shall, so shall the Lord locate you. The partnership. Let's go. To fellowship. Let's go. The God and I, we can save the world. Can save the yes, Lord. To fellowship. Fellowship. To partnership. To partnership. To God and I. God. I see a car from New York. I see a car from New York area, Connecticut. And the car was full of praise and thanksgiving. Amen. It was on the 95 North. Come in. The devil has fought you and your wife. But God orchestrated today's date. Take care of your sister as well. And let's constantly stand in the gap for her. Hear this. She will take 
that even doctors will not know because something has been deposited tonight. Oh, look at it. Come fellowship. Oh, the partnership. The God. The God. We can change the world. Come on. The fellowship. The fellowship. The partnership. The partnership. Amazo, can you drop some oil? Let him take his gadget off from his pocket. Drop oil, some oil into his pocket. Anything that has affected the finances of this house is broken. You hear me? The Lord said your brother will not die at the expense of the takeoff of your wealth. To give an access and the grounds to the devil for anyone to make a statement against you. You have used your brother for ritual money and it's a lie. Can I say this to you? There's someone coming your way. The name of the person is called Ijioma. Ijioma. What will attract the person to you is because of your name. You will say that, ah, you are called Ijioma. I'm also called Ifoma. So how? And I saw that Ijioma now will begin to win the heart of you and your wife. The Lord said, I should tell you, that Ijioma is a demonic scent. And that person is coming to destroy everything in your house. She is on the way coming. She is on her way coming. The Lord said, you tell this one plain. You haven't met her yet. She is on the way coming, you and your wife. She is on the way coming. And she's coming like a Christian sister. But the Lord says, no weapon formed against me I shall prosper. Hold his hand. Father, we declare blessings. We declare blessings. Congratulations. Can you anoint his two hands? Oh, clap your hands, somebody. What is? I am here with my spirit. A year by this time. I also, I say this to you and your wife. A year by this time. Either you be in your auditorium or you are about to enter in. The Lord said, I should tell you, there's an outbreak of house possession in this house. The Lord said, people are owning houses, condominium. Say yes, the Lord. When one is standing there to testify, one will also start. One will also start. One will also start. One will also start. Will also start. Seven. Let's go. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Everybody say. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. One more time. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. You hear me? I just got to release him. I spray. Let me do this. Prophetess. I just got to release him. I spray. The Lord said to me, a year by this time. Papa made a statement. He said, a year by this time. I want everybody under the sound of my voice, hear me and hear me very well. When the spirit of the Lord shows up, there will always be a contention of the voice of the enemy to restrain you from not walking into your place. Hear me. There's a time that God wants to turn our story around. The same time, the devil wants to interfere with your mind. Tonight, if there's anything that God has given to me, that will be of a blessing to this house. Sister, Abosso, I feel my spirit that I should confer a year by time prophetic word over this house. And a year by this time word means that it shall come to pass. Can I declare to you, every prophecy you have received for years, that you are still waiting for the manifestation. I declare a year by this time. A year by this time. Shout, I am one of them. A year by this time. Wherever you are watching me online or in house, I just feel that let everyone 
trust God for a covenant of 365. Declaring that, Lord, I sow this seed. I'm expecting a year. By this time, I need that car. A year by this time, I need that husband. A year by this time, I want to own that business. A year by this time, let the student loan be paid off. A year by this time, every debt I have be paid off. Everywhere you are, everywhere you are, all you need is to run and pick up one of the emblem. Just run, pick up one of the emblem. Anywhere you are, run, pick up the emblem. Just pick up the emblem. Anywhere you are, for a year by this time, miracle, 305. Three hundred a year, but it's, if you believe, you are one of them, and that no pressure. Come and pick up the emblem. Come and pick, hear me. Put God on the line and see if God will not be faithful. Put God on the line. Hear me, men of God, women of God. Sometimes we walk into an atmosphere. About so every. Sometimes we feel that it's only the church, and we miss it. I feel in my spirit there is somebody standing here. That God needs to do something with you. A year by this time. Wherever you are, don't miss it. Because you might have come late and missed the instruction. You miss it. Someone would have picked your emblem. Thank you, Jesus. Just pick up the emblem. And anything you are believing God for, a year by this time. Either marriage, job. Write them at the back of the emblem. And write a year by this time. I'm expecting this from God. Pick up the emblem. Write those things at the back of the emblem. For the last time, I'm about to seal it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe you are one, don't stand it. Those of you watching me online, I want you to be part of it. Keep showing that seat 365 and start writing down everything you want God to do. Seven things, seven things for a year this time. Seven things. A year by this time, write it down on a sheet and I'm going to give you the next instruction anywhere you are. A year by this time. From fellowship. From fellowship. To partnership for God and I, we can change the world. Fellowship, the fellowship, the partnership for God and I, God and I, we can change the world. One more time. Also, have you have you been seeing him? Have you met him before? There's something that you need to impart on him. This man here is a preacher. This man here is a major preacher. And there's a grace of healing that you need to confer on him. This man has been running away from where God wants to take him. But God said that right from now, something is about to be activated. Can we get oil? And we get oil. Also, come, prophet. All of you lay hands on him. This man is a prophet, a major preacher and a prophet. And we declare a year by this time, a year by this time, a year by this time. This man has been running away for too long. Because of it, it has become like the, the, the attack of Jonah. Anything that this man touches, it doesn't go well. Because he's out of the ordinances of the decree of God. But God says, after today, this man, destiny has been realigned. Anything he has lost, God said, is coming to pass. This man is a major great man of God, a major entrepreneur. He's about to affect nations and kingdoms. In the name of Jesus. What to draw someone his head. Oh, Jesus. Every one of you, take your watch. Take off your watch. Take off your watch if you have a watch. And say, I reset my spiritual timing. To my God giving timing. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Set and the Lord said to me, There is a new switch of time for finances. <sighs> Can I say this to you? There are people that they are in school, God said that He has opened doors of grants for them. 
For fellowship. Mm. Let's go. Fellowship to find Let's go. God and I. We can change the world. Fellowship. Fellowship. To partnership. To partnership. God and I. I stand here and declare by the apostolic authority that God has placed upon our Father, His Eminence, and Bishop Duncan Williams, and by the grace that the Lord has placed upon Apostle Dominic and Prophetess Leslie. Everyone here that the devil has fought you with education and finances, God said that it is cancelled and reversed. I see loans paid off, I see grant offered to you. Grant offer to your business. Grant offer to your next school. I see master's program paid off. I see pay paid off. Receive it right now. For fellowship. Yeah. To partnership. To God and I. To God, God and I. I. We can save the world. We can save the world. The Spirit of the Lord is still ministering to me. There are many of you standing here, sitting here. Your 365 sacrifice emblem is on the altar. Then I say, run because you are about to miss it. For the next few seconds, then I say, I should cut it off. The reason why you are sitting down and you're part of this, you are looking at money rather than trusting God. There are some of you here, you haven't picked the emblem. The Lord says it's not about money. There are some of you, what is left to show is what the Lord will use to shift some things around. The reason why we are struggling, we struggle. The reason why we struggle, we think that anything we need to have should come from our toil. But we are in a place. No, don't bring the emblem. Those who haven't picked the emblem, come and pick the emblem. Don't bring any emblem. If you haven't picked it, come and pick and show your seed. For we are about to deal with this seed in a few seconds. Ready? What is in your hand? Put it back. Bring all of them to our person for now. What it is. I don't know the content, the content for me. And deal with it. If you haven't come for the envelope, come for the envelope. What is in your hand? Lady, where are you going? Where are you going? You come to pick envelope or you are about to drop envelope? I haven't asked you to drop him left. I said, those they haven't picked the should the ones you come. Hurry up, go back. I like your hats. I like your slippers. Come here. Come. We were so fearful when you be watching. Leslie. Get away. We were so fearful. When I take the sign, you're fearful. Please, there's envelopes there. Please. It was like, are you for A book where I pray for That's the way she went. From fellowship to partnership. The way you are this strong. And the way I saw you crying because a man broke your heart. The way our sister is very hard, yeah? And I saw her crying some time ago and said that God, what have I done? I thought that you were very hard, but not knowing that you are not that hard. I saw my sister crying and she was in tears because someone played on her intelligence and broke her heart. The plan of the enemy was that our sister was going to go through four major disappointment in relationship leading to marriage and she'll get to a place and say oh, I'm, I've, I've had enough and I'm not interested in men again but the other side and the Lord said that is the plan of the enemy but our sister is the record breaker in her bloodline for fellowship to partnership the God we can take my sister, there's a contention. I saw something like a chief tansy in a family. 
and I saw that spiritually rings have been collected and have been put in a pot and they have covered the pot and saying that we place limitation over any man and woman under the bloodline that any relation they get in let them so even when they get married let them go through the divorce but the Lord says I have chosen this one to break that limitation place over the bloodline can I speak to a limit breaker here? Can I speak to a limit breaker here? Every limit place on your bloodline, you are breaking it from today. Shut! I am a limit breaker. From fellowship to partnership, the God and I, we can change the world. From fellowship to fellowship to partnership to partnership. major news is coming and once the news was coming the devil want to do something can you paint the picture of your daughter and touch the altar three times you are about to receive a phone call tomorrow that your daughter got involved in an accident and she didn't make it sorry I've been seeing that. you've been seeing that you've been praying against it for months the Lord said to me, some family people got and said that it's like your daughter will be the next of kin to take many things from you. So the only thing that let's take her away so that they can position themselves. We stand here to declare the one who programmed this, we send it back to the center. We send it back to the center. Somebody say, back to the center. Say, back to the center. an attack. It's not the will of God, it's the plan of the enemy. But God reveals. We're going to close in a minute. But the 365 seed, is a, hear me. Do you know what? Your seed is doing something. Oh Jesus, such a beautiful and my prophet prince, I've not seen her before. <laughs> Ah, he hasn't seen her before. Sunday, Jesus. Sorry, you gave her a prophecy. You gave her a prophecy, and you didn't see well of the prophecy from fellowship. Let's go. The Lord said, Let them get their seed of the three hundred and sixty five. Everybody in the room that you took the opportunity to have the emblem. Girl, can you set the time that you want to be settled as a family woman? When? Set it and it's done. Speak it and it's done. That is what I'm hearing. Speak it and it's done. Sorry? Today, you want to be settled as a, a woman, a family woman. I declare to you now and up to August 2022, you if you walk in the ordinances of God without fail, you are about to have a title, Mrs. From fellowship to partnership, the God and I, we can take the
Mommy. You won't go through that struggle again. For you to believe that? The Lord called your name to me. Because I was in the local grounds. If they have never called you, Nanaya, they should call you. If they have never called you, Nanaya. If you have never been called, Nanaya. If you have never. No, no one has never called you. Your name is called Nanaya. If you have never been called. If you have never been called, your name is called Nanaya. But has anyone called you here before? Yeah. Sorry? <laughs> yes. So they have called you here? Yeah. Yes. Sorry? Yes. So you are called yeah? Yes. Huh? Yes. You are yeah? Yes. Sister, you are called what? Yeah? Yeah. Is that your name? Yes. Yeah? But they, they haven't called you Nana Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let me tell you, they should call you Nana Yeah because you are like a queen. Yeah. Woman, the Lord mentioned your name to me, yeah? Straight. Every one of you, start getting your seat and start working out. Get your seat. Any element, those that are sewing by, you are sewing by cash up. You are sewing. Those of you could not get the envelope. You have the second chance to do it. Come, for there are some envelopes for you on the altar. Run for the next one minute. If you have not picked any of the envelopes, run. Those of you watching me online, by the grace of God, I want you to get yourself, get yourself a start releasing that seat of 365. Everybody, start releasing that seed of 365. Oh, Jesus. Those of you on the front line, stand up. Stand up. Hurry up. Lift up your two hands. A miracle is coming on all of you. The Lord said, you have waited too long. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah, Take it. Take it. Take it. Fight. Sing it. What name fits you? Yes, Lord. What is if you have not done it, those of you who have done this, wait. I'm going to call you. Those of you who have done it, wait. You have your seat. Don't bring it on the altar. Pick it up. Come and pick it back from the altar. If you have laid your seat at the altar, pick it up. And we say, yeah. Us. Yesterday, I was talking to a lady, woman of God, and um, she said, coach. She said, coach. Coach. Where will she come? I saw, I saw, I saw wig, I saw lipstick, and I saw, I saw makeups, and there were products, and I went into a place like an expo, spiritually, and at the expo, our sister was standing behind the table, that they have lipstick, they have makeups. And they were all her line. Yeah. Woman, the Lord said it's not only coats you are about to make. God is giving you an idea for beauty product as well. Yeah. Because the Lord said that look at it. Hear me? The beauty product. I've seen a name that you are written. Winnie. Winnie. W-I-N-I. That would be the short name of your product. Because I saw that you said. I don't have any name for this. But the Lord said that the product shall be called Winnie. W-I-N-I. A short, a short nickname of your name, Winifred. 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 Generation. Let's go. After generations. Welcome. Well, you, you. Keep waving you. Yet no one sums you up. Then I ask the Lord. I ask the Lord. You know what the Lord is telling me? The Lord is telling me 
the pronouncement of women that will be in charge of our resources that have been declared over by this ministry now is the activation and I saw men that are writing wills and inheritance the Lord said I should speak to everybody here the rest of your days of living not a single day you lack money receive it in the name of Jesus Someone just lost twenty dollars in her wallet. The, when she came here, there was no money. The, there was not twenty dollars bill. She has got other things in her wallet. But now, I've seen a twenty dollar dropping in someone's wallet. Don't feel shy. There's someone you just found a twenty dollar in your bag. What is? What is? But as we are moving into the place of creation, every one of you that you are done with your 365, I want you, those of you lying here, and those of you on the left, and those of you on the right, stand in the gap, stand in the line. Every one of you, get your seat out. Those of you watching us online, I want every one of you, move your seat now. Those on this side, please stand in the gap here. Stand in the gap here, stand there. everywhere you are. You have, you have done your seat at 365 either by cash up zell or any of the platform please join the queue ah how's the lord yes lord and yes the lord let's start living what a name fits you then he said yeah and he said yeah can i get a team to verify our seat so that we can class. Please, please do that. Hear me? When I speak, you must move like a tender. Jesus. When you walk with angels, they don't walk. Let it make sure we have it. When we clear them, then they can walk and put the... Yeah, let them put on the... Many people do we have with the team? How about you? Stand up. Come, you too. Please let's hurry up. Please let's hurry up. Our time is here. Hurry up. Lady Elsie, how many people do we have as a team? Please, can we get people to verify quickly? Is that come? Are you dating? Are you dating? No. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just, I'm just asking you. Are you because my name is called Brother Prempe. This <laughs> we have what we have a prophetic levels. Let me stay where I am with you. I'm just hear me. Don't let me get into other things. Are you dating? Sorry, you are talking to someone. Are you interested? Are you interested? Sit down.
lift up your hands. May you not be in the hands of a wrong person. Amen. You know what? Stay on here for me, please. I saw a daylight. And the daylight started changing into darkness gradually. And out of the darkness, our sister was I pray that may any man whom have been positioned spiritually to deceive you within the time of living, may the Lord move that person out of your life. You won't miss it. Prophetess, can you come and anoint this finger for me? Anoint it. Any single woman here, I want you to lift your finger. Just, yeah, raise this finger. Any single man believing God for marriage. As the woman of God is holding her hand, her fingers, the power of the Lord is coming on you. I say the power of the Lord, yes, Lord. Breaking emotional curses. Every limit, every limit, every limit, every limit. Fire break. Let it go. Let it go. Break loose, loose, loose. Fire go. Go. to me speak to every man and every woman here that are believing me for a miracle it's already done Amen. KFT we are about to see the goodness of the Lord as never before Amen. everyone that you are seated already please put on the altar quickly if your seat is ready put on the altar quickly everyone you are my, our time is almost here let me release the next dimension Everywhere you are, that you are seated already. Everywhere you are, anyone watching us or everyone in the house, wanted to make sure you put your seat on the altar. Also, can you anoint our brother and our sister? Anyone that is believing God for a major breakthrough for business, stand up and sit down three times. Immediately you, you sit down. Shout, it's already done. The Lord said to me, there are 250 people that you are getting new cars. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You know what I mean? You may not decide, you may not want, you may not want it, but a Bentley is being packed. A Bentley. A Bentley. I see a Bentley. I see a Bentley parked in your driveway. A Bentley parked. Oh Jesus! Start declaring cars. I saw a Bentley. 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 My God! I saw a Bentley. A Bentley, and I saw it was a customized plate. Say as the law that a new door has been opened. There is a surprise. A major surprise is coming for a surprise. And I saw the same coming upon the members. Receive it now. The Lord said, I must declare to you, henceforth, you are moving into surprises. 
I see favor surprise. I see financial surprises. Receive your portion. Father, we declare a year by this time. Every seed laid at the altar will bear fruit and a miracle. We are closing. Anyone you haven't done it that you have done it. Hear me. There are many people sitting down. All that they have is a seed of 100. A seed of 100. Anyone that is believing God for any miracle, any type of miracle, that you could not do that seed. Yeah, come. Let, let me pour, let's pour oil. I'm hearing the name Shakira. Shakira. I'm hearing the name Shakira. 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 Let me say this to you. What you suffered was demonic. Every pain has left you. Let me tell you, your feet have been realigned. It has been realigned. Mommy, you have water. Throw water on her feet. That's it. Every one of you, Mama, the way you are quick in and out, the Lord said that a miracle is coming in to be. I'm hearing kissy, kissy, kissy. And I saw that that kissy became a clothing line. Something's moving. Let's go. Something's changing. Let's go. You see his glory. Just like heaven. What is, what is, what is, what is? What am I hearing? They love your husband will be jealous of your name. Your husband is coming. Your husband is coming. Your marriage is coming. They can't stop it anymore. They can't stop it anymore. They can't stop it anymore. Anna. They can't stop it. They can't stop it. They can't stop it. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Jesus. I'm hearing them, but I'm closing. Is there Adakwa here? Adakwa. Come. The Lord said, I pray for Adakwa. And tell him that the way himself and Amma are serving, I have also opened a door of favor for him. The Lord said, your brother is already here. This man is a prophet as well. The Lord said, watch him. Watch him well. For this is a great man. Something moving. Let's go. Something changing. Where you are. See his glory. It's just like heaven on earth. Something moving. Something changing. Run. Hey. Run. Run. Go back. Run. Stand here. He was meant to be shot dead. And three days to the time he was supposed to be shot dead. The spirit arrested him and brought him. The Lord said, This man is a preacher. Something's moving. Let's go. Something's changing. See his glory. It's just like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Fire. Something's changing. Fire. See his glory. Fire. It's like heaven on earth. Something is moving. Oh, yeah. Something's changing. Bring him. See his glory. Bring him. Bring him. Just like heaven on earth. Lift that, bring it. Something's moving. Something's changing. Where have you are? See his glory. Just like heaven on earth. Bring it. Oh, oh, oh. What is? What is? Immediately our brother broke free. I saw that my sister was bound in chains. And the angel of the Lord that worked on him through your prayer. That angel just located her. The Lord said, this one is coming home spiritual. The Lord says, he's coming home spiritual. Let me change our people. Fire! 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 came out they planted and that seed was not a good seed but immediately you shut the fire i saw something that came out like a serpent and i've seen that the serpent came out and the fire caught the serpent and i saw the 
serpent, serpent, burn it to ashes. No! This lady has had an encounter and her journey has begun today. This be on fire. I saw her singing. I saw her pray. Something is moving. Something moving. Let's go. Something changing. See his glory. Just like on earth. Something's moving. Something changing. See his glory. Just like on earth. Full return of everything I have lost in life. Just get a seed of 100 everywhere you are. Those who couldn't do that, is anywhere you are. Just walk in and do it, every one of you. I say, Lord, I need 100 for my time. That is the last thing I'm doing. I'm done. And then we are closing. Girl, your feet is totally healed. Well, God that made her to be here. God made you to come here. Outside of that, you'd have been dead in Florida. But God made a way for you to come here. It's your season. It's your time. Let me tell you, you walk in the hour. A miracle has been released. Oh, look at where you are clapping. And your testimony is permanently secure. Everywhere you are, you can't miss the pink. We're going to be on fire. I see something burning with my sister. A new level has been released. This is why you can't shout. A new level has been released upon the prophet. What is? Where is, where is Nayan? Run here quickly. Run. Puzzle. I hear the word of the Lord saying, this is a season of restitution. Anything he has lost, the Lord shall restore him. Yeah. And the Lord said, he will not go on the wrong path anymore. Yeah. This man will be great. Yeah. And I've seen this man preaching the word like fire. I've seen him moving. And the Lord said, he'll be settled. He'll be married again. And he'll be stable. He'll run and money will not be an issue again. Can you pick the oil? The Lord said, as he's working over her household, he's working on your household. And the Lord said, now is the time for the break of, of the revival. I see a strong drop of oil on his tongue. Drop of oil. This man's voice is about to move into nations. This man is about to speak oracles. God is about to use this man so strong. I hear the fire. 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 any investigations against you again i override any second arrest i override it no one will mention your name in any place we secure you in the name of jesus we secure you in the name of jesus watch me we are closing Rockets. 
We block it. Block. Everywhere you are. I just want you to get that seed of 100. Those of you watching me online, those of you in house. I couldn't do I want you to do hurry up. And when you do it, if you have a bank card, a credit card, just lift that up one of them and say, Lord, this my accounts will never go dry. Anywhere you are, please do it and come to the front. Those people, I want to I want to anoint your hands. Give me oil. Those people that are doing, do it hundred, hundred dollars. Anywhere you are doing, hundred dollars. Please, if you haven't done it, don't come here. Do it now. When you finish the winning, give me your right hand. Let me anoint your right hand with oil. If you are, have you done it, where is the proof? All right. Please do before you come. Hear me. Anyone I'm touching your hand with oil, I can boldly declare to you, you will never see lack. Oh, Jesus. There is a strong prophetic oil. Strong. They prophet oil over this man. Deep. They prophet. We are devoted in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you are, please do that seed now. Do that seed. Do it and come and touch it. If, if you have it, that knock on. If you have it, put it on the altar. When you do it, tie the altar with your phone or the money before you come. Hear me? If you come here and be a joker, you will never receive the blessing. Hurry up. Our time is up. Something is moving. Something changing. Ah. See his glory. It's just like heaven on the say. Something's moving. Something changing. See his what is? Watch me. You should know by now. Have you done modeling before? How many years? I saw you in a, a major magazine. And that magazine was going worldwide. I saw major name brands coming for you. I saw you on a runway. Hear me? A friend of hers put something in our sister's perfume that she put on herself and the friend gave her as a gift that thing was was pushing away opportunities this woman here is a millionaire i saw what is what is what is what is what is watch me here i saw her on a private jet from las vegas to paris paris to london london to new york but somebody interfered with that glory but tonight ma'am the lord said i go drop oil the veil over her has been broken this woman is about to shine it is breaking Moving, something change see his glory it's just, just like, like heaven and order something's moving something changing see his glory just like something moving something changing see his glory just like heaven order something moving something changing see his glory just like heaven order lightning and thunder miracles and wonders sunny waters heaven order what is make sure that you are released that you are seeing 100 before you hit yummy Hear me, don't play with the word of the Lord. There are people that they are jokers. They just pay ten dollars, apostle, five dollars. Hear me, don't play with the grace. I'm closing. I'm, I'm, I've gone beyond my time. The spirit of the Lord led me to what I'm doing. So if you have not done it, don't play, don't joke. It's not about money. It's about the instructions. But everywhere you are, hear me. There are some of you. You are only left with that seed. Trust God and do it. Hear me? The Bible said that in the morning so, in the evening so, in the afternoon so. You don't know which man of your seed. Hear me? There are some of you, I've already given 200. Hear me? You are missing it. Anywhere you are in the room, just trust God. Just trust God and do it again. Something is moving. Something's moving. Drop it at the altar and come. Something is changing. She is glory. Just like I don't know why. Can you deal with any premature death? Let's lay hands, Apostle. This lady will not make the end of this year. They plan that this was I saw this lady being dressed up in a coffin, and everyone was crying. There's a spirit of death. We kiss it. Something is moving. Something changing. See his glory. Just like heaven on earth, something's moving, 
Bishop, may the Lord bless all of us. We thank you, Apostle, and your wife for receiving us and for standing in the gap to make this thing happen. May God bless you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I want to thank God. I want to bless God. So, I want to say this. My children say they want to see you. And I'm saying publicly. I've said it publicly. So, if you don't come, I'm telling you, I will tell everybody in who I stand, I say, KLT, pastor and your prophetess they have a question to answer i love you god bless you man and when sometimes hear me when i call you respond record back early <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we cancel every mission any retaliation in the form of accident confusion we block it say we block it Say every retaliation after this meeting, we are shall averted, averted, averted. As I clap my hands, we are averted. Clap your hands as we are closing. Amen. Come on, give a clap of to the Lord for what he has done this past three days. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want us to stretch forth our hands toward the, the prophet and Archbishop. We are praying for grace. We are praying for replenishment. They've been on the road for many days. We want to pray that the Lord will strengthen them, replenish them, restore them. Pray for their ministry, pray for their families. Pray that the Lord will protect their families even as they are here. Come on, lift up your voice, begin to pray. Lift up your voice, they need your prayer. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, pray. There will be no retaliations in the name of Jesus. There will, no be, there will be no retaliations. We cancel every attack. We pray for replenishment. May the Lord restore and replenish in the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will carry you home safely. 
that as you are going home there will be no accidents there will be no retaliation may the lord protect your home before you even get home may the lord send an angel ahead of you and make every crooked path straight lift up your voice and pray that prayer we come against every retaliation we come against every retaliation we pray that the angels will go ahead of us and make every crooked path straight father we thank you i want you to thank god for what he has done in your life this three days this last three days open your mouth and just thank him right now thank the lord just thank the lord thank the lord lift up your voice lift up your voice come on thank the lord karima sutala maha father we thank you lord we thank you 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 come on thank the lord gratitude in the name of jesus father we thank you for what you have done we give you praise and give you glory we pray that you will carry us home safely and bring us back here again in the name of jesus we thank you lord for what you have done in jesus name somebody say amen, amen. now what's happening tomorrow amen. amen tomorrow we are having our women's fellowship program and women's program annual program called think pink amen we will be here same location the doors will be open by six amen we are here tomorrow starting think pink and so if he's, there's still an opportunity to register for Think Pink tonight, amen. So if you're here and you just heard about it, you want to be part of this women program, please make sure that you register, amen. Go on our church website, kftchurch.com, and then register, amen. I'm releasing you now. Lift up your hands. Let's share the grace of God together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the day of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless all of you get home safe of Jesse as king over in place of another king Saul but God never told him who the king was among the sons of Jesse he didn't give him the name he said go to the house of Jesse